Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done one of these in a really long time but this one is huge and so without further ado I am going to be doing an April haul. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and split this up into a couple different sections. Um, one section being books that I bought uh, a section being books that I got for review from uh, Just Read Tours, books that I got from for review from the publishing houses, uh, books I won in a giveaway, and books that I bought directly from the authors. So, without, I already said this, but let's just get into it. I'm so excited to show you what I got. So I'm going to start with the books that I won in a giveaway. So, technically, I only... I only won one copy. Um, I have a friend that lives in a different country and somehow someway she won a giveaway that was for US uh, people only and she still won somehow so I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I, I don't know. Anyways she asked if she could use my mailing address and then I would send her the book and of course I said yes I'm all for helping somebody get books and I will ship it to her. I will make sure that it gets to her. But I wanted to um, include it in here since I did get it in the mail. And she said that I was more than welcome to read it. So we'll see what I do. I'm not sure. But the book that I won for me, me, <laughs> is Secret Past by Sherry Stover. And this is a love-inspired suspense and I am a part of a Facebook group for love inspired readers and authors and it's so fun to be a part of. I love seeing it but they do a lot of giveaways and I was lucky enough to win this book and it looks really good. The cover is beautiful. I don't read a ton of suspense um, just because I read so much of it at one point that I got burnt out but I'm excited to read it and get back into suspense and this was released in April so it's her newest release. And then the book that my friend won was Together Forever by Jodi Hedlund. It is book two in her Orphan Train series and I believe book three comes out later this year or something like that. I don't know. Um, I've only read a couple books by Jodi Hedlund but I enjoyed her writing but again this is not my copy this is for my friend. So I'm not sure if I'll read it or not since I have not read number one, but I guess we'll see. It did come out May 1st, so happy book birthday, Miss Jody. The next section that I am going to do, I'll go ahead and do books that I got from publishers to review for the month of May, really, but I got them, most of them in the month of April. The first book that I got is The Theory of Happily Ever After by Kristen Billerbeck, and... This kind, this released May 1st as well, I believe, and it is a beautiful cover. It's super fun and summery, and it's a contemporary, and I'm really excited to read it and really excited to give it a shot. And it almost kind of reminds me of, cover-wise and font-wise, uh, The Secret Life of Sarah Hollenbeck. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be written that way. I guess we'll see. Uh, but I'm very excited to pick it up and read this. The next book that I got for review from the publishing houses is The Accidental Guardian by Mary Keneally. I guess I've been saying her name wrong for like ever. I've always said Connolly, but I guess it's Keneally. And the more you know, I guess. This is book one in her High Sierra Sweetheart series. This did just come out, I believe it released, maybe, no, it released in March, actually. I requested this um, as my review and they actually did not publish enough for everybody so the um, the bookstores ordered more print copies than the publishing house went out and did anyways it was late but it's awesome it's okay because that means that bookstores are needing them and bookstores are selling them and that's awesome in and of itself I'm excited to read it. I love Mary's work. She's amazing. I just love her. Then the last book that I got from the publishing house is actually technically um, 
I'm a part of an influencer team and so I got this book to influence and push and review but I got it from Bethany Publishing House and that is all for love and that is three historical romance novellas of love and laughter with stories from Mary Keneally, Christy Ann Hunter, and Jen Toronto. And oh my word, if we added Karen Meyer and Julie Clausen in here, I would probably keel over from excitement. I am so, so excited about this uh, collection that came together. I have already read At Your Request by Jen Toronto, um, and I am on her influencer team. So I'll be pushing it from her side. I've already read it. I've already loved, I love the story, but I'm so excited that it's in print. And then it is a uh, lady of esteem by Christy Ann Hunter that has been in ebook form forever, but now is in print. And it is also the Bowden birthright by Mary Keneally, which I believe has been in ebook form for a while. All novellas, all short stories have been in e form for quite some time, but are finally made, have finally made their way into print form. And I could not be happier. This cover is beautiful. And it's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. But I'm excited regardless. So thank you to the publishers for sending me these books. Thank you, Jen, for letting me be on your influencer team for this beautiful and lovely book. And I'm excited to get my reviews out there and show the world that there are some wonderful authors in the world. Yes. The next section that I'm going to do is also books that I got for review. Um, all but one came from one of the most amazing teams that you could ever work for, and that is Just Read Tours. Uh, they are a tour company started by Miss Annie and Miss Carrie. Annie is the blogger and the wonderful lady behind Just Commonly, and Carrie herself is an author. I believe she might be a blogger as well, but I am not sure about that. Uh, they decided that they were going to create a blogging tour group that did strictly inspirational fiction and I have never been more excited or proud to work for a team. They are amazing, amazing ladies and so sweet. Um, they are in fact creating a box, a subscription box soon. Uh, the first one should be ready within the next couple weeks, I believe, if not, hopefully by next month. So, so excited. This is not sponsored, but I love them, and I am so honored to be a part of their group and to be under them and pushing Just Reads because it is wonderful. So if you are interested in joining our lovely team, please let me know. I will link it down below. We would love to see you guys. We would love to have you because... We always need more sign-ups. Um, there are wonderful books. There's books for everybody and always inspirational fiction and it's just wonderful. Um, so I've gotten quite a few books from them this month and last month I believe. I don't know. I've gotten quite a few books from them. I've loved working for them. It's great. Uh, so I have quite a few from them but I also got one from an author specifically to review and that is The Moor and the Maiden by Hannah Joy Wilkinson and I get a lot of questions actually um, either through Messenger or DMing me on Instagram but I've had authors reach out to me and ask if I only review published um, books from you know big publishing houses like Bethany House, Revel, Thomas Nelson like the big companies and my answer is always no. Um, I am always, always open to reading an indie author. Um, I believe in small authors. I believe in authors who try to go independent. Um, but my main factor is I would love to read the plot first. I would love to read the synopsis to make sure that it is something that I am going to enjoy because I will not be saying yes to you um, if it's a book that I'm not going to enjoy. It's never because of how you published um, it's just based on my preferences, so thought that I would say that. Anyways, Miss Hannah reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in reading her book. And it is a medieval set book, I believe. Well, it's set in France in AD 1150. So it's in, like, it's ba it's set way far back. And I've been getting into some of these books when since reading Miss Melanie Dickerson's books. So I'm excited to read it. Thank you, Hannah. 
for sending it to me. That's a book that I got from, for review from a set author. Now the rest of these books I have received from the wonderful Just Read Tours. The first book that I'm going to talk about is The Backcountry Brides Collection. And this is from Barbour, I think is what the publishing group's name is. Eight stories of 18th century women seeking love on colonial America's frontier. And I have read two of the stories so far. Yes. And it's good. It's cute. I love these collection series. I have a collection of the collections. So I was super excited to see that uh, Just Read was offering these um, up as a bookstagram tour as well as a vlogging tour. So definitely check it out if you were interested. The next book that I got from them, and these are in no particular order at all. That is First Love Forever Romance Collection, and this has nine historical romances where first loves are rekindled. And this was a bookstagram tour that I went ahead and signed up for, so we got print copies. And I'm so, so, so excited to read it! And again, I love the collections, so I'm really, really excited. And I love quite a few of these authors, and so I'm really excited to read their stories. Oh! Also, this was a blitz. I did a blitz on my blog. So yes, that's where else it's been. But isn't it beautiful? The next book that I got is Refuge of the Heart by Ruth Logan Hearn, I believe is how you say her name. Uh, this was also for a bookstagram tour and we had to use the new cover. So the picture that you see on my feed is not the same as the cover of this book. I have yet to read it, but it is on my TBR for some time. I don't know. So many books, so little time. Who knows when I'll actually get to it. But I am excited. It's The old cover is beautiful. The new cover is really cute. Then you saw in my video last week about the book that I DNF'd for the month. And that was Julie by Catherine Marshall. I received it from Just Reads. And it's a beautiful cover. I am so thankful to receive it. But it wasn't really my forte. Um... But it is beautiful. And the last book that I received from Just Read Tours this month, or, or at least for this video, is The Story Peddler by Lindsay Franklin. Oh, this looks beautiful. This came out May 1st along with Unbreakable by Sarah Ellen. There was all these celebrations, all these books that came out uh, May 1st. But I've actually had this book for a while. I just haven't gotten to read it yet. But it is for sure like on the tip top of my pile because ah, it just looks so good everybody's like talking about it and everybody's loved it and I just can't wait to get to it and this is the Weaver trilogy and this is book one and I'm super 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 excited to read it I've heard all good things and I was so so excited to be accepted into this tour because yes I'm so excited so those are the books that I got from Just Reads and thank you, thank you, thank you so much, ladies. I love you so much. I am so honored to be a part of the team. And if again, if you are interested, let me know. I can totally help pass the word along to Miss Annie and Carrie. Uh, they are on Instagram. And of course, I will link everything in the description box below if you want. next section that I'm going to do is books that I bought just out and about or from Facebook and stuff. The first book that I got is not... Christian fiction, but I believe like, it looks like a classic, and that's Queen Anne's Lace by Frances Parkinson Keys, I believe. Um, I was at a thrift store with my grandma and my sister, and I saw that this was called Queen Anne's Lace. And quick backstory, a couple years back, we were visiting my grandma one day, and we were driving down the road one day, and she pointed out Queen Anne's Lace on the side of the road. And she said, on our way back from our stop, we'll pick some up because you can set this in uh, food colored water, like food coloring in water, and it will dye the lace. So we went and we picked up a couple and we put them in the lace. And a couple of the colors switched, but not all of them. But ever since then, I've had a soft spot for Queen Anne's lace just because of the memory. I actually even had them as my centerpieces for my Sweet 16. I went drove down the side of the road with a friend of mine and we cut them off the stems. They are weeds. They are technically, I think they're technically weeds, if not they're wildflowers. Um, 
but they just grow on the side of the road and I love them. Besides sunflowers, they are my favorite flower. They're my favorite plant. Saw this, had to pick it up. It's a beautiful color and I'm excited to read it. I have no clue what it's about, but we'll see when I actually get to it. I don't know. The next book that I bought is The Prairie Romance Collection and this is Nine Historical Romances from America's Great Plains. Again, this is another one of those collection sets. I love them with a bunch of short stories. They're some of my favorite books, especially when I'm in the mood for just a light, quick read. I can just pick random stories or read the whole thing in like a matter of a couple hours because there's just a bunch of short stories in there and I always feel so accomplished because I feel like instead of just reading one book, I've read nine. You know, it's just great. It's a great feeling. Then I went to Half Price Books a couple weeks ago and I went to the clearance section and I found two books. One of them I will not be showing since I did get it for a gift, but I found Love on the Line by Deanna Gist. I've talked about this before, um, I've read it before, but I had the hardcover version and that threw off my bookshelves. I did not like it, my books did not fit correctly, so I said if I find this in paperback for cheap, I'm going to pick it up. So I found it for $2 on the clearance section and I picked it up and it's still a beautiful cover, paperback or hardcover. Then I went to Half Price Books again. I met with Becca and we had a great time. We stopped and we went to Half Price, Half Price Books in the town that we were in. And I picked up All's Fair and Love and Cupcakes by Betsy St. Ament? Ament? I'm not sure. I've never read anything by her before. Uh, I feel like I might have one of her books somewhere, but I'm not sure. I've heard of her before, just haven't read her books before. But it was just too cute not to pass up. Becca also got a copy. She said something about wanting to read it, but also it was totally bookstagram worthy, which I have to completely agree with. Um, so it looks super fun, like a super fun summer read, even though it's raining outside once it gets a little brighter and a little lighter. Definitely going to be a fun contemporary read to pick up. Then I picked up... Mail Order Bride Switch by Dorothy Clark. This is a love inspired historical book. I picked it up from Walmart because my Walmart is finally carrying the love inspired historical again. Even though the line is ending in June, which is very, very sad. But I have loved being able to pick them up from my local Walmart. And then I also picked up The Unconventional Governess by Jessica Nelson, which was also her April release. This one is based in England. And I have a couple other books by Jessica, and I'm excited to read this one as well. I have literally talked about this book for the last three weeks, and that is A Song Unheard by Rosanna M. White. I picked this up. This was our April read in the book club that I'm a part of. So I was able to find a copy and purchase that, and I was very, very excited. And I loved this book. It was beautiful, and the cover is gorgeous. The spine is gorgeous. All around, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous read. So I was very excited to find that. The last book that I picked up in the month of April that I paid for um, from other people. How did I generalize this category? I don't know. I don't know. That was The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber. And I have heard nonstop good things about this author and about this book, this uh, duology. Um... Because I read Unblemished and Unraveling this year, I'm now on like this dystopian YA kick. I don't know. But this is a beautiful cover. Um, I've heard great things about the book. Then look at the naked cover. It's got the hexagons all around it and the spine is beautiful. This, this print, this cover, reminds me of Chicken Little. Is that awful to say? Am I the only one who thinks that? But like, you remember when he's like, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and like a, a hexagon piece from the sky fell out, and like that's what they were, you know, the UFO. I haven't seen the movie in forever, but that's what it reminds me of. But I'm really, really excited to read this, and I'm excited to find book two at some point so that I can read that one too. The next and last category that I'm going to do is books that I purchased directly from the authors. Now, I 
I have been so blessed to be able to reach out to quite a few authors and ask if I could purchase a signed copy of their books. Um, it is one of my hopes to have signed copies from authors of some of my favorite books or some of my favorite authors. I do have a few but there are still some that I'm working on and I was just so thankful that they agreed. Most of them you can go online if you ask them they do have a link a link where they personalize books and they will sign them for a extra charge or even if they don't I don't know you can talk to authors and these authors were so kind and they sold these to me so I'm going to show those to you now so the first book that I got was All My Tomorrows which is three historical romance novellas of everlasting love and this is also another novella collection with books by Karen Whitmire, Jody Hedlund, and Elizabeth Camden. And I reached out to Miss Karen Whitmire to ask if I could purchase this from her signed, and she said yes. So I did, and she signed it for me. So it says, Alicia, may all your tomorrows be filled with love and laughter. Blessings, Karen Whitmire. And it's so sweet. And then she put the sticker that said it's autographed by an author. So it was very sweet, and I'm so thankful that she sold this to me and that I have it in my possession. Next book that I got from an author was The Noble Servant by Melanie Dickerson. This is the last book in her uh, medieval fairy tale retelling series, I believe. And now I have all of her books except for her London Spy series and, of course, her new books for the Hagenheim series. But I reached out to her and she let me purchase it directly from her, signed, and again, so thankful. I love this cover. Uh, the book itself is gorgeous. It is olive green and I have been on an olive green or green kick. Green has always been my favorite color but recently I've been like getting into a kick with my clothes and books and it's just beautiful. And this is signed. It says Alicia bless and ha God bless and happy reading. Um, Melanie Dickerson Ephesians 3 20 and 21. It's just pretty. And again, I am so thankful that she let me purchase this from her. And I hope this doesn't seem like I'm bragging in any way. Um, I'm actually really, it's very hard for me to reach out to the authors. But I figure I'm going to be purchasing the book anyways. Um, I would love to see if I could get it signed if I could. So, um, yeah. I mean, the, le the worst they could say is no. But most of them have been so beyond kind. Uh, the next book that I got was Holding the Fort by Regina Jennings. I reached out to this lovely, lovely author. Uh, this has been on my to-be-purchased list for the longest time. And finally I was like, you know what? I would love to have a book signed by Regina. So I reached out to her and I asked if she would sell me, if she sells copies of them signed that she did so we started the process and here I hold this beautiful book that is signed it says for Alicia thank you for reading and God bless love Regina love this cover she was also so so beyond kind to send me another copy of a book and she sent me love in the balance and I believe she signed this one as well if I'm not mistaken Yes, she said, for Alicia, I hope you enjoy Molly's story. Love, Regina. So I have not read this one yet, but I'm very, very excited to. Again, it's been on my to-be-read, to-be-purchased pile. So now I have it to add to my collection because I'm starting my Regina Jennings collection. I have a couple of them, but I would like to expand and get all of her books at some point. So I'm excited to have this as well. And the last book that I'm going to talk about today, the last book that I bought from an author, and the last book of the haul is A Name Unknown by Rosanna M. White. This is book one in the Shadows Over England series. And again, I read book two. I've talked about book two for the last three weeks, but I can finally talk about and read book one. And I'm very, very excited. I reached out to Miss Ro Rosanna and she said she sent me the link to her page where she does, in fact, sell all of her books uh, with the choice to personalize them and sign them. So of course I had to pick it up because it's beautiful and I wanted the book so why not just get it signed. And she signed it to Alicia, may you know who you are in him. 
Rosanna M. White. And that's how she signed it. And it's just beautiful. So again, I am so thankful to all of the authors who let me purchase books from them, um, who listen to little me freak out and get so excited over them as authors and over their books and just being the wonderful people that they are because they are some of the sweetest people on the face of the earth. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Uh, it's a bit crazy. I think I have like 25 books, 20 some odd books. I don't know. You've probably seen me move a couple times in this video. Uh, because of my new setup, I'm sitting and my legs are falling asleep. So I've been trying to shift crazy long video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got this uh, in April. I loved it. I loved collecting all the books. And I love finally been, being able to do a haul. I feel like it's been a month and three moons since I've done one. It's been even longer than that, I would just like to point out. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it all. If you are interested in reading any of these books, please let me know. I can definitely get you the synopsis for them. Um, if you've read any of these books or you own any of these books, I would love to know. Please let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, I hope you, I just hope you guys enjoyed. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, where I blog every Friday and you'll see quite a few of these books on there. You can also follow my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction where you will also see quite a few of those these books on there because they're gorgeous. <sighs> All my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. Sorry for the crazy long video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!